If you read the entirety of this report, where we have identified pitfalls, we have suggested how you overcome them. It now, is his was... views at the National Assembly during the debate on the BBI bill that may have cost him his position as the deputy chairman of the BBI committee. It is the role of any committee that is tasked with such work to identify what could be pitfalls in the journey. That we did. If you are irresponsible, you ignore them, hoping no one will notice. And sometimes it has disastrous consequences. But if you are responsible, you identify them and see how to resolve them. If you read the entirety of this report, where we have identified pitfalls, we have suggested how you overcome them. Now, that is what some people misunderstand and think it is sabotaging the report and the process. That is actually facilitative, not disruptive. Otende, who has been replaced by Ruaraka MP Tom Kajuang, seemed to take a divergent opinion from that of his party when he admitted that there were mistakes in the BBI bill could be changed. There are only six minor areas, and they're on page 99 of this report. Minor areas of typos. Two of them we decided that we cannot touch because they would require us to put ourselves in the place of the promoters. We cannot substitute ourselves for the intention of the promoters. The other four, in the bill before us, you will see that three of them are actually not in this bill. According to Otiende, as long as the changes did not alter the intention of the promoters of the bill, they could be made by the parliament. Popular initiative gives any other person the opportunity, but does not exclude the first two. Even this parliament can choose to initiate an amendment by popular initiative rather than inside this house. So the issue that the executive may have initiated does not take away from the fact that it's popular initiative. That while the role of parliament is restricted, it is not ceremonial. It is not ceremonial because if you look at Article 94.1 and 94.3, you will see that parliament is the sieve through which any thing that becomes law in this country must come. Otiende had during debate on the BBI bill told of minority leader John Buddy when he insisted that the parliament could amend the bill to alter the mistakes. The ODM as a party, the position of ODM is the one I've read. So I, I cannot contradict anyone. They are the ones who can contradict me. ODM stands in full support and I want to repeat that. ODM stands in full support of the bill and calls for its passage in totality. The move to kick out Otiende comes at a time when ODM is said to be entangled in a supremacy battles regarding the BBI bill. Probably our members appended their signatures and agreed with that report before the party pronounced itself. Now the party has pronounced itself and our members have been, are being called upon to act accordingly. According to the party insiders, the battle for the control of the party is so vicious that CIA Senator James Orengo has been described as the voice of the dissent in the party. Orengo had questioned the authenticity of the document released to the public he further poked holes in the legality of the proposed 70 new constituencies. Otende in a tweet said he will take the action to kick him out in stride. Davis Mberia, Ebru News.